Now for the men's 100 meters with perhaps the finest field we've ever seen. I don't think there's any doubt about it. Five of the fastest seven men in history are in this race, including the world record holder Carl Lewis and two other men who have held the world record at one time. And from front to outside, here's John Drummond, who is in lane one. Drummond, really the sensation of this season. He defeated Lewis earlier in the season, an exuberant runner. A good contrast to this man, Mike Marsh, who won the gold medal at 200 meters, but was a member of that gold medal winning four by 100 meter team as well. So was Dennis Mitchell, and he is in lane three. Now here's a guy who says he runs well when he's aggressive. The bronze medalist at the Olympics in this event. He's the kind of guy who prepares so well for the big meets. And Leroy Burrell was also a member of that 4x100, and he is going to be in lane four. Now remember something, he's blind in his right eye. That's the eye on the left of our screen as we look at him. That means he won't be able to see what's happening on this side of him. He won't see Carl Lewis through most of the race. Carl Lewis, who anchored the relay team. Meanwhile, Andre Case in a very disappointing Olympic trials. He fell to the ground, did not make the team, but he has dazzled the crowd here. He's made an amazing comeback when you think of it. He fell to the ground with an injured calf muscle. He's worked so hard to get back, and his coach Lauren Seagrave says he's ready to win this race. And Calvin Smith is here a decade after setting the world record. He was a surprise to make the final, but he ran well. Popular runner around the world. He can always surprise people. And Sam Jefferson is in lane eight, one of the newcomers. One of four athletes coached by Mike Takaha and Tom Telez. He's at Houston now. Other guys who are in this race who are coached by Telez and Takaha, Lewis Burrell and Mike Marsh. The index of greatness highlighted by those in this event. Those are their qualifying times, all wind aided in the semifinal. But look at this. All these guys except two have broken the 10 second barrier. Five of the seven men, seven fastest men in history in this race. Andre Kaysen and Carl Lewis, not only a contrast in styles, but also in stature. Carl Lewis there in lane five is 6-2. Kaysen next to him, a mere 5-7. That's why Kaysen is such a good starter. He's able to burst out of the blocks. Leroy Burrell, if he gets a good start, will put pressure on other people. I think the start will be crucial. Drummond, Mitchell, and Kaysen are the fast starters. Lewis and Burrell are the ones who close well. And a great start for Kaysen in lane six. Also Mitchell in lane three, a bad start for Lewis. It's going to be Kaysen and Mitchell. Kaysen and Mitchell, here comes Lewis, but it's Andre Kaysen. Carl Lewis made the team. He made the world championship team. It looks like Kaysen won the race, though. He's third from the left of the screen, and you're right, he has a very fast start, but so does Dennis Mitchell in the yellow. It's Mitchell and Kaysen who are leading the field, and where's Carl Lewis? He emerges from the back, makes a statement towards the end of the race as he zooms by Drummond in lane one, and I still can't tell who won. Kaysen raises his arm at the finish line. Mitchell leans, and it's going to be very close as that's the team that makes it. Kaysen, Lewis, and Mitchell, and I think Drummond will be the fourth man on the relay team. But what a courageous comeback for Andre Kaysen. He was number one today, and he is with Carol Lewis. Andre, last year at the Olympic trials, we saw you fall to the track. Is this what we missed if you would have run then? I'm sure this is what you guys missed. Um, I, I, I'm speechless right now. I mean, I, I can only give praises to my Heavenly Father because no one knows the, 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 the problems that I've gone through in the last 364 days. You were so focused. Every single race you ran looked like it was 100%. How much did you put out today? Um, I gave it my all, and I think I gave it a little bit too much because right around 70 meters, um, I, I started to tighten up, and, and, and that made my body fatigued a little bit. I think I could have run a lot faster had I, had I concentrated on running through the line. And here is how they finished. Andre Case and Dennis Mitchell with identical times. Case with the victory. Carl Lewis joining them on the world championship team. Here is the rest of the field. Leroy Burrell still trying to match up to his 91 form, and Carol is with her brother Carl. Were you disappointed the other two days? Usually you say you win it in the heats. You didn't run as well in the heats as you usually did. Were you um, kind of apprehensive about today? Well, I didn't start well all week, and uh, I was apprehensive a little bit. It cost me in the beginning of the race. The but the main thing is that I was able to stay into it, run the type of race I can run the rest of the way and get on that team. I was out of it at 50. I know it.
Congratulations and good luck in Stuttgart. Okay, thanks, sweetheart. <laughs> Carl Lewis on his way to the 200 meters. Meanwhile, Dennis Mitchell and Andre Kaysen on the victory stand. We'll have more from the USA Mobile Championships in Eugene, Oregon on U.S. Olympic gold. But here is a look at the photo finish for the men's 100 meters. Dennis Mitchell and Andre Kaysen. And you can see at the bottom of the screen, Kaysen just a little bit ahead as they draw that line through the picture. It's the torso that counts. His torso breasting the tape just ahead of Mitchell. They were the first two out of the blocks, and they were the first two to the wire. They finished one-two. Carl Lewis was third. 